and the fix right now. <laughs> Higher education is going through some of the biggest changes it has done in decades and they're not being kind to students. So the government has suggested that they're going to create this thing called the Teach and Excellence Framework. What's that I hear you ask? It's a piece of crap. <laughs> this is what the government is going to use to try and rank institutions on their teaching excellence. But in order to do this, they're going to use some arbitrary metrics such as the National Student Survey and what graduates earn when they leave university, which I don't think are things that can really measure teaching excellence. But they're going to use this framework to give universities gold, silver and bronze medals and see who can raise their tuition fees along with inflation and who can't. This is going to create a massive market in higher education and it lends to the idea of treating students as consumers as opposed to students and that's dead. The government's newly proposed Office for Students will have the power to overrule universities and research councils' right to teach and research what they want. Theoretically, the government is giving itself the power to determine what it thinks is right to research and teach and what isn't. These new measures will take away academic and curricular sovereignty from independent universities and give more power to private, profit-making institutions. Yep, that's right. At the moment, private, profit-making institutions need to abide by strict rules for years to prove their eligibility to give internationally recognised degrees. That's about to go out the window. Profit-making unis will soon have degree awarding powers with immediate effect. This could mean some unis will be forced to close in the coming years and the private ones will jump in and take their place. In the government's own words, managed course closures and orderly institutional exits are a feature of a healthy, competitive and well-functioning HE market. Marketisation, it's already in the works. That's not all. There's been £30 million pounds worth of cuts to disabled students' allowance, moving this funding from the government to the universities. Historically, maintenance grants have been provided to get students from low-income and non-traditional backgrounds into universities. There's also been bursaries available to kind of make education much more accessible, so these include nurses' bursaries that have really broken down barriers to getting people into education. But under this government, the process of stripping away financial support has already started, with nurses being left high and dry and grants being converted to loans, leaving us with even bigger amounts of debt than before. Oh, and did we mention Brexit? Due to Brexit, we're really uncertain about the status of funding all the EU students, and a lot of the actions of the Home Office and Theresa May have made it very, very difficult for international students to feel like they are safe in the UK. So check out the comments, so join the Facebook event, make sure you get your travel ticket down to London. Let's show this government that students care about our own education, and that we're here to stand for a free and fair education system. <laughs>